As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking about how important support systems are for mental health. First, I want to talk about what a support system is. A support system is a network you feel free to share your diagnosis with. Um, or like whoever you feel like I wouldn't say come to the internet and talk about it because you could be having an episode and you don't realize you're over spilling and over sharing so you need to have a separate community that you can confide in for anything that you feel uncomfortable about, about your diagnosis if you feel like you can't talk to someone else and this person's being funny with you and the space like you can let everything out cry if you want to but it could be friends family or community team whoever you Phil specifically gets you and will support you till the end. I know there are community activities out there for mental health in particular, specifically charities. Um, there's Mind UK, Bipolar UK, Mind, I think I'm just called Mind, but yeah, Mind UK, Bipolar UK, and there's a Richmond Fellowship group, which is a charity for mental health. It sounds like a Christian group, but I promise you it's definitely for mental health. I'm signed up with them. They do great events and um, stuff for people that are suffering and may feel like they need to just get out and do something. They do art, walking groups, trips to the museum, um, just loads of things, loads of things you can get involved with. And if you don't feel like being a part of it that day, they understand, they don't always expect to yes or no from you. Like they really go at your pace. They also do online activities if you don't feel like doing anything in person, you can do it virtually. You can do like, I know they have distraction o'clock. So I think that was every Monday. I, I, I did do one. Um, we did it on Zoom and we just did games and we got involved all together, which is pretty cool. This isn't really a support system, but it's a support technique. Like to have a hobby. Like, I, I feel like I've mentioned this in one of my mental health videos before. Like, if you have a hobby, no matter what it is, you can do it at home, you can do it by yourself, and it can be your support mechanism. So, I like photography. I used to do a photography course. I like media. I do YouTube. Um, I like colouring in. I like art. I do painting. I do stuff like that. I got a I've done a jewellery making class. Um, shout out to I Am A Woman um, on Instagram. I-A-A-W. Um... They're really good. They do like mental health um, events for women. So yeah, I bid them up to the hilt because there's not much stuff like that, which is why I traveled from where I am to South, I think it was, to go there. It might have been, no, East, uh, East London. Um, yeah, they're really good. Um, we've done a jewelry making class. So that inspired me to get my own jewelry making kit from Amazon. And I actually made these really cute, not these. I, if I made these, I'd be bragging about it till the end of time but I made some cute earrings and you know it's like a it's a thing that you can distract yourself with it's a thing that you could really just take your time and be patient with yourself and at the end of it you have a little reward and then there is obviously the NHS mental health team um, if you have a care coordinator or you feel like you need extra support and you don't have a care coordinator please ask for one they are so helpful. They liaise with your doctor. They help you get to your doctor in time to talk about meds and stuff. If you ever need it, like, you know, altered or whatever. Um, they give you a, they can give you a peer support worker who works with you on your goals, on your prevention, like how to prevent your episodes and just things like that. Like, there's so much access you can get through the NHS and if they support if they support you to get into groups like the Richmond Fellowship I would take it I would definitely take it that's it for now you guys I'm so glad you watched and I hope it helps you anyway I'll see you soon bye